Hey guys, David Asai, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about something a little bit frightening and we're basically talking about private life fans. They basically dig up private information of a celebrity. This is most common in K-pop. And they basically take that private information, they expose it to the world, they sell it, all in the name of love and getting their favorite K-pop idol to notice them. And I want to talk about it and dip into the tea on this. So if you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. If you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. These private life fans are kind of crazy and honestly should probably work in the CIA. They have ways of getting personal information that's just absolutely insane. They usually take jobs in these corporations that require personal information of the K-pop idol. They would then take the information and sell it or keep it for themselves. A piece of that information was leaked, V's passport information specifically. It seems like his passport was photocopied into a Chinese database and then it was then posted online, specifically on a YouTuber's channel. And this, of course, YouTuber ended up getting a lot of hate as the K-pop community was astounded and angry that something like this would have been posted publicly. However, from what I've been aware of, it was not taken around immediately. It was taken down two hours later, which for such a sensitive piece of information is quite a long time for it to be out there. You don't know how many people have seen it and you don't know among those people who have seen it, how many of those people are taking screenshots or saving the video or doing whatever. Obviously, it's not right to leak someone's information and people who have seen the video who are probably not even a private life fans or crazy fans or any of that sort of thing probably would then see an address and maybe they would be curious to go and visit that address. Someone who wouldn't have normally seeked out that information if they then see it, go after Tay. Just think about the fact that if I were to take your information and put it in front of literally a million people, how many of those people would then do something bad with your information? How many of those people would then try to get your credit card information, try to rob your house? Or just because they're a celebrity, they shouldn't have their passport information public. So from the photos, you can obviously see that there are Chinese characters. Obviously, I don't think his passport and all that information was Chinese. It seems to have been in Korean. But this does mean that the person who then got the information might have been working within that Chinese database, or perhaps they were something that were able to hack into a Chinese database. Or perhaps they were the person that photocopied it into the Chinese database. It might have happened when V was going into the airport to scan his passport on on his way to China. We don't know the whole situation or how the private life fan ended up getting this information, but we do know that the information is now out there, most likely an airport employee. But funny enough, and everyone can kind of breathe a sigh of relief, the information on the passport seems wrong. Some armies did quickly notice that the expiration date of the passport didn't seem to be correct. Usually a passport will expire in one year, five years, or 10 years. This particular passport, it seemed to have an expiration date of only four years, which makes zero sense. A passport would never really expire in four years. I think this information might have been kind of photoshopped together. People obviously know his birthday. People know what he looks like. They're able to just put everything together and make a little passport. Why they would do that, I have no idea. Also, if you take a look at the picture, the picture seems fairly new. For the most part, most passports will have photos of when you were younger, much, much younger. And this passport seems to be brand new. However, he could have just gotten his passport, so that could easily be disproved. But that is just my theory. I think what irks me the most is that Big Hit has allegedly not taken any action over this. I think they should take some action over this. And for what I've been seeing and speculating around, they have not responded yet. However, I totally understand them not responding because they don't want to bring more attention to this, more attention to this guy. So I understand them not wanting to talk about it and maybe deal with it privately, but I hope it gets dealt with and I hope that precautions are taken and security measures are taken and they question the YouTuber who leaked this information. Big Hit should definitely pursue legal action on this guy if they can. If you're leaking fake information or if you're leaking real information, leaking passport information is seriously a crime. Whether it's real or fake, the intention of leaking a passport information is there, and I believe that that's also against the law. However, I'm not a lawyer, but I am very curious to know if this is something you can take legal action on, even if the passport is fake. Like, I don't understand some of these fans. It's like, if you'd, let's say, get Jungkook's phone number, right, and then you decide to call Jungkook, what do you think is going to happen when you call him? You think Jungkook's going to be at the other end, just like, yes, oh my god, let's be friends. You have hair, I have hair, oh my god, we're bested. No, it's 100% going to be block, block, block. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Let's see how the story unfolds and if we get more information. Let me know what you think about this situation. Drop it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you would like to contribute and give back to this channel, help kind of keep the videos going on this channel. I really do appreciate it if you would go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link in the top description down below. You can also get exclusive content over there, such as music video reactions, ship reactions, live performance reactions, any type of that stuff over there. So please check it out, it mean the world to me. There's also two videos that will pop up at the end of this video. Please make sure to go ahead and click and check out one of those, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.